will be kicking off from and the Sabercats will be kicking off from their 40-yard line and receiving will be the Harlingen South Hawks they're gonna be receiving to the north end of the uh, field here this evening uh, like Joe said it's a beautiful night no rain in sight uh, we've got the wind coming from the east just a little bit so shouldn't affect too much that ball should be going through the air pretty good here we go with the opening kickoff and kicking off for Vela is going to be number six, Back deep to receive Rafael Perez. Hawks, number 11, Darren Perez. Number 25, Alec Garza. And the kick is off, and it's a high kick. Going to come down right about the 10-yard line. Take it out to the 15, the 20. Breaks to the right. 25, 30. A little Perez bit of room to go. That's number 11 for the Harlingen South Hawks. That is going to be Darren Perez. He had a good little scene the there opening up. It looked like he was going to take it a little further, but it collapsed pretty quick towards the end. But what a run. That's a great place to start, you know, at the 30-yard line or 27-yard line, I believe. Right about uh, the inside of that 27-yard line, and uh, Hawks will start. Uh, they will go to work. Hawks in all green tonight with their white helmets, white socks, and the Vela Sabercats in white, black, and blue coming from Edinburgh right down the road. Uh, Valley rivalry, here we go. So here we go. Jimmy Morton's coming up. He's going to uh, be in the shotgun formation this evening. Harlan South doing a little bit of running back by committee. He's got three wide receivers, two right, one left. Takes a snap. He's looking right. He wants to go right. And he connects again Morton with number 11 for South Hawks. That's going to be Darren Pettis again on the reception. What a great little route. He got to pick up about a good six, seven yards. He did a nice little curl. Was able to hit him on target. Nice pass. Nice catch. Way to get it started here for South Hawks. They're going to get about six yards on that gain there, Joe, and uh, going to bring up a second down, about four yards to go uh, for Jimmy Morton and the Hawk offense coming to the line here. It looks like Morton will be under center this time, one lone running back in the backfield. Waiting the snap here. And he's going to hand it off to running back to four, right Steven up the middle. Rodriguez. That's number four. Picking Breaks a tackle, First gets down, out to the 45-yard line, does Steven Rodriguez. First down, Hawks. Wow, he ended up getting the first down and broke a couple of tackles. The offensive line just made a nice hold for him. He's able to spin, able to get a couple of breaks on there, and really great run by, by Steven. Steven Rodriguez had a couple touchdowns last week against the Panthers, right? Yes, he did. He, he had two touchdowns last week, and a very impressive uh, performance by him. A lot of people were questioning the youth of South, but there was... There, I think they, a lot of the critics got answered last week. Definitely. The youth of South, uh, definitely in question, but I tell you what, they showed up last week, as did Vela. So here we go. Jimmy Morton, shotgun formation. Again, he's got Rodriguez right next to him, three wide receivers. First down for the Hawks. He's rolling right. He's looking downfield. He's going to let it fly to number 11. Again, it's caught at the 30-yard line. That's number 11, Darren Pettis. A big gain for Darren Pettis, about 25 yards through the air. Great pass, great protection on the offensive line uh he had a lot of time to keep throwing the ball he ran a great route was able to get a good 20 something yards on it excellent play great play pauline they're doing a little balance right now on the on their on their squad there definitely a good passer goes for about 25 yards uh through the year good passing catch they're going to set up now at the saber cats 31 yard line first down uh morton's going to go under center he's got two running backs behind him full back tailback Waiting for the snap. He's going to pitch it to number four again. And he's going to get met quickly at the line of scrimmage. Not a whole lot there. Maybe two yards on the game. Yeah, this time he was able to, uh, just to get about Leading two the yards. The, the, the defensive line for Vela actually had Joshua good penetration Morales. on it to able to stop him there for a short a game. I mean, he walked into a whole bunch of white jerseys. You a know? lot of them. A yeah. lot of them. <laughs> white wall from Vela there <laughs> for the running back. It's going to bring up a second down, a long eight to go. We're just right about 10 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter, so only a couple minutes ticked off the clock so far. And Harlan South has moved the ball well. The Jimmy Warren's going to be back in a shotgun formation. They like to run this spread offense, as we got to see against Wessicle last week. Waiting the snap now. Two receivers to his left, and he's going to look left, and he's going to connect with his wide Morgan receiver. That's number two. Number he breaks two. it to the outside, the 20. Down about the 15-yard line goes Jason Martinez. First down, Hawks. What a great play. I mean, he... Did a little screen class, had good blocking from his receivers right in front of him. First down. That was able to uh, pick up a good uh, 15 yards, get it down. Uh, first and goal, it looks like, about at the nine-yard line. Great catch by Jason Martinez. It looks like they're going to mark it just a little bit further back from that, Joe, about the 19, 18 or so. Oh, um, yes. It looked like he got down all the way to the nine, uh, but I think he stepped out of bounds there. So they're going to bring it back. Here's the replay. Y'all can check this out later. One hour after the game, we'll be showing the video and audio. He jumped up for that ball, man. He got it, went up and got that one. He, yeah, it was a little high, but he ended up getting it. And here we go. Morton's under center now, first down. He'll hand it off to his running back again. Rodriguez That's number four. 
Rodriguez, Steven, and uh, he's going to go for it for about five-yard gain. Good pose. He did a little power running right up the middle, was able to get a nice little seam. The offensive line was able to get him a little quick seam. Good good running. Good running on on. Second and a little six. tidbit of information there for uh, Steven Rodriguez. Last year he played linebacker, Joe. So, you know, showing up this year and playing some running back and doing a good job so far. Well, he's built like a linebacker, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to be able to knock some, some of those guys down a little bit. But he's still got that linebacker in, uh, toughness in him. Yeah, like. you, you could definitely see that. He's got, got a, a good frame there. So here we go. He's there in the backfield, number four, Steven Rodriguez, standing right next to Morton. He's going to send his receiver out in motion to the right. That's number 25, Alec Garza. Oh, it's a fumble snap there, but Morton's able to fall on top of that. They're going to lose about 10 yards on that one, Joe. What happened there? Bad snap? It looks like a bad snap. It looked like he got a little to his left. He wasn't waiting for it right there, but he was able to pick, come and pick it up and save the possession because that would have been a great momentum turn for Vela. Exactly. I mean, that he saved not only the possession there, he could have saved a touchdown going the other Pick way. Check this replay out of here, Joe. Look at that. He tried to run before he had the ball. That's what happened. That's what it looked like there. And... It looked like it was going to be a little designed. He was going to go to the right, you know, and uh, maybe an option play, and he tried to run before the ball was secure in his hand. Here we go. Four wide receivers set this time. Most wide receivers we've seen. And it's going to be encroachment on the, the defense. Play. Came across that line right there. That's what it looks like. It looks like number 56. Number 56 on the defense. James Mackey. He got a little bit excited there, Joe. You I, know. Th I think he was. <laughs> he was just, you know, the little jitters getting in him, you know. It's the second game of the season. Beautiful yep. night here in Harlingen. That's right. Working out those those the first couple games of the season, they're trying to prep up for district play. Both teams are going to look to make a playoff run this year for sure. Yes, here they, we yes go. Third down, about 12 yards to go. They gained five yards back on that one. Again, he's go to the four wide receiver set. He's going to look to his left now. He's got a receiver open in the end zone, and it's a touchdown. Harlingen South, he connects to number 25, Alec Garza. Wide open from the beginning, Joe, and he stayed open, found him, touchdown. He was First, you've got to give a little credit there to, to Morton there. He was looking, looking. He found him wide open in the corner of the end zone and able to give him a, a great pass there. Look, he lasered it over there and a touchdown. South, South Hawks got up, now 6 up. Look at that beautiful spiral on that throw. Nobody around him. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody around him. Nobody, Nobody around him. Alec Garza. We've got a penalty here. Yellow flag on the field. They're setting up for the extra point here, and a flag goes down on the field. This is a sideline warning. Sideline warning there, Joe. Edinburgh Bella. That's a delay a game penalty. It's half the distance to the goal. They've got to stay about two yards off of that sideline there, and so and uh, they also have to stay behind the 25-yard line. So they get too far. They get a warning now, and uh, they're going to go ahead and reset. No penalty assessed here. Extra point. Who's that kicking for Harlan's and South? Looks to be number 11. Is that right? And the snap is good. The kick is up. It is 11. It is. He's doing everything tonight. It's good. Extra point is good. That's Darren Bettis. Darren Bettis, he returned the kickoff. Had a good reception there that moved him down the field. And then he goes and kicks the extra point. Good job there, young man. Uh, number 11 there, Darren Bettis for the Harlan and South Hawks. Well, Joe, I mean, let's go back to that series there. I mean, Harlan and South moved the ball really well. They had a lot of balance and some pass and some really great runs. They were able to penetrate their offensive line. Looks pretty sharp right now. They're protecting the quarterback. And they're also giving some lanes for Stephen Rodriguez to run through. Definitely, that offensive line played a big part in that first series. Not a lot of pressure on Morton either. No, not a lot. It was the, the fumble, and that was really it. And that was, you know, kind of just a miscommunication there. I mean, it didn't set them back much. You know, then they had that five-yard penalty, got them a few of those Staking yards back. And so just really impressed there with Harlan and South and their. Their ability to move the, the ball. Player, so I know Vela boasts a, a really good offense, and so now we're going to get to see them come onto the field. And athletic schedules. Get connected today. And who's back there to return for Vela? It looks like we have number one, Elijah Reina. Elijah Reina there. Kicking off for the Hawks, like it's number 25, Bobby Robert Milton. Guerra. Robert Guetta, and kicking off over here for the Hawks on this side. Back to receive, uh, number ready one, to, to boot Elijah this one deep, Reina. I know, is going to be number 10, Wesley Champion. I believe it's 19. 19, Fabi Miltos. And 9 and 0 got a little bit confusing. They do, it looks. <laughs> All right, and the kick is a squib kick. Stays pretty low here, and it's going to be recovered at the 10-yard line. Goes out to the 20, is number 25. Out to the 30, he's got some space to run. Makes a great move out to the 40, the 45. 
Chased down by number, number two goes number 25, Robert Guerra. Brings it all the way out to the Harlingen South Hawk 49-yard line, Joe. Big one. Big, big run from by Robert Guerra. I mean, he... He ran to the outside and ended up looking like he was going to get stopped running, Making but he ended up running. As you can see here, uh, he Lupe just he has great speed. He went one way, he mm -hmm. deterred the other way, and he Save had a great, now he's in the south territory here, 48. started great field position for Vela. And he ran so well in that return there. Great vision, great speed, great decisions. You know, he had uh, a lot of space to run, a lot of field to work with, and he just made some really good decisions to give him some good lanes to get up field. And he's going to give his offense excellent that starting field position. Only about 48 yards to go if they're going to punch it in. Lopez. Yes, sir. So here we go. They're going to line up. They run the shotgun as well. Sends a man in motion here, and that'll be flag. a flag. Uh, number 12 is in a QB. That's going to be Everett Lopez. Five Last penalty. week he had a heck of a game. He hit out there. He threw five touchdown passes. Threw for over 241 uh, yards. So look out for him to be throwing and, and trying to expose the, the Hawk defense or the Hawk secondary. And let's see how he does on that. We'll keep an eye on that. Definitely a great game for, uh, for number 12, Lopez, last week. He's going to take the snap now. He hands it off to his running back. After a five-yard infraction, and you'll get close to the original Anthony line of Arredondo. scrimmage. He's going to bring up a second down and about 11 to go. Yep, yeah, yeah, it was Anthony Arredondo, I believe it was. Yeah. And he had not, not a whole lot of blocking on it. You know, he ended up getting a few yards Brings on up it. a second and 11. Second down, 11 to go. Just about a yard behind where they originally started here. That five-yard penalty pushed them back just a little bit. So Lopez goes, shotgun formation again. He's got three wide. He's going to fake the handoff. He rolls Lopez to his right. On the Lots of green jerseys there. And he's going to fall down right at the line of scrimmage. Going to bring up a no gain on that Leading scramble. The, the defensive line just read that Ontario. completely. They were all over that play. Yet uh, Lopez had nowhere to go on that one. Uh, great okay, effort by the defensive line to stay in their lanes. I mean, he went around that right side, Joe, and it was just about three or four green jerseys right there. Nowhere to go. He ran to a wall of green. Well, we know that he airs the ball out really well. We know he can pass with great efficiency. It looks like they're going to probably have to go to the air on this one. It's going to be a third down and almost a 12. The ball is really close to that 50-yard line. Lopez goes, shotgun formation, sends the receiver in motion. Oh, and they're going to call false Flag start on, on the, the center there, number 51. He just kind of flinched that ball there. On the center, number 51. Illegal snap. They're going to call penalty. number 51. John Gonzalez. So it's going to be third down again. They're going to push him back five yards. They're going to have about a third down and about 16 to go. And that great field position that they had from that kickoff just really hasn't gone anywhere yet. They're back on their, tour, uh, on their side now, which they started on the Hawk 48. So push back quite a bit. But Lopez, we know he can air it out. So here we go. Shotgun sends the same receiver in motion. He's looking to his right, scanning the field. Pressure coming. Tries to get outside, slips a couple of tackles, lets the ball go downfield, and it's caught at the 31-yard line. They're going to mark him down at the 30. Huge passing catch from Lopez to number 44, Steven De Luna. First down. Well, he had. He bought a little bit of time. It looked like South was going to get up to him. It looks like they were going to. Uh, he actually broke a tackle. And here we go. They're quick to the snap again. He's going to hand it off to his running back, number 23. Talk about that big play, though, that they just had. I mean, what a, what a wonderful pass there by Lopez. He broke a tackle, was able to get a uh, run to his right, able to throw, and have a nice catch for number 44, Steven De Luna. And that's the receiver that kept sending in motion. And so, you know, they had put in motion a couple times. Uh, so here we go. It's a second down, about nine yards to go, folks. And uh, they're down at the 29-yard line. Lopez is going to hand it off to his running back. Goes left side. He's got some space on the outside Arredondo to the 20. Arredondo goes to the 15. He's going to push Inside out of bounds right at the 15-yard line. Big run. That'll be a first down. That was a great play. He went around, around the right on the left Forcing side. He was able to beat some of the corners one, around there to pick up the first down. It looks like they're rolling there. Now they get, looks like they're starting to get their momentum back. Sabercats first down. At the well, I'm going to give credit to number 14. 25. That was Robert Guerra on the carry. Uh, making a wonderful move to the outside, getting around the outside and getting some yards upfield. So here you go, first down and 10 to go on the 14. Lopez awaiting the snap now. And he's going to hand it off again. No, he keeps it. He goes up the middle this Lopez time, fakes us out up the in the middle. booth, and he runs down about the six-yard line. The Big gain there for the quarterback. Well, Aaron, it almost faked me too because I <laughs> thought, I thought uh, Guetta had run the ball, but he took it straight up and got there and uh, was able to get about seven or eight yards on there. Second and now and it looks like they're uh, starting to roll a little bit here. They definitely are. I mean, we, we thought they were going to be stopped. I mean, they had that great field position, got stopped, but they have just been rolling now. And Lopez has got them right up to that six-yard line. It is going to be a second and two. 
And this time he does hand it off to his running back. That's again number 25, Robert, Robert Guerra. Guerra. And going to be close, but I don't think he got the first down. Oh, I don't think he, I don't even think he got to the line Leading of scrimmage. The he might have lost maybe three. a yard there, but uh, the, the Hawk defensive line there really got good push on there and were able to stuff that run right, right on there. They're going to bring up a third down. Two to go. Ball is still right around that six, almost seven yard line. They lost probably about a half Ball a yard on that play. Six. You know, uh, Lopez just staying really calm and collected. You know, they're not rushing anything out there. No, they're not. They're in really tight. One receiver to his left, out wide. They sent about four guys in motion here before they get set. They're going to hand it off again to the running back. Goes yeah, left, and he's going to get the first down, and he's going to fall down about the two-yard line. Really great run. Was able to get the first down. Now, Bella's got a first and Making goal. Stop number 53, now let's see Awa. if the Hawk defense were able to maybe put a little pr uh, pressure on First him. and goal. I mean, this is goal Ball line defense time right here. Two. Lots of shifting going on. Kind of confused that Harlingen South Hawks time defense out. a little bit. There was a lot of shifting there. Time out here in the Harlingen South. They're going to try to time out. Get some time together. Uh, try to get a game plan in here. I mean, they're right on the doorstep. Two yard line to go. First and first and goal. Uh, they've marched down the field about 48 yards with a couple of penalties earlier. So they're poised to score here, Joe. I mean, what, what do we need? What does Harlan and South need uh, on that defense line to be able to hold that Saber Cat offense back? Well, like you said earlier, they're doing a lot of shifting, so they really got to get their reads out. But they do need to get a little push, which they have been doing, uh, to get a little pressure on. on uh, on the quarterback Lopez, but also I think that we've got to start as uh, the uh, running back for um, uh, Bella, Robert Guerra has been running really well. He's actually the one that got him to the 48 yard line, and he's actually been, you know, doing a couple of good runs on there. So look for him to probably get the ball here a couple of times, in my opinion, but look, let's see if South will come up with some kind of scheme to, to, to push back a little bit. Yeah, they may try to run a blitz right up the middle because a lot of it has started up the middle and then they bounce it to the outside. So good containment on the outside, person in the middle. But I tell you what, uh, Guerra's just been running, running the ball lying south this series. I'm so impressed with his poise. He makes good decisions. Uh, he's got some speed in him, toughness, and uh, he's, he's brought this uh, offense down the field, and so they're knocking on the door. Two-yard line here first. Uh, down two to go. We're about under right under five minutes in the first quarter. It is seven to zero. Harlan's in south leads, but Vela is threatening here. Here we go. Lopez hands it off to his running back again. Guerra's going to take it to the inside. That's a touchdown, but that was number 23, right? That was, number that was Anthony Arredondo. There you go. I mean, I, they got some weapons on the running yeah. back side. Because, you know, they, 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 Guerra got him here, and then they decided to go with Arredondo here. But uh, the offensive line was able to give a good push to get the defense back to get those two yards for that touchdown. Well, big credit to that Vela offensive line because it seems that no matter who's behind them, they're Number getting six, a good push. Ryan and those guys are getting some yards. I mean, Lopez ran, Guerra ran, and then they finished out with Arredondo. Great job, Vela offensive line. Well, so far, both offenses look really impressive. I, I, I have to admit here, they, they both are running the ball. They're both Extra passing the ball. Good, good balance attack on both sides. The they're both looking good. And Rafael Perez, number seven. six for Vela. He kicks Don't the extra point there. It is good. And so we have a 7-7 seven 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 ball game seven here, seven right under five seven minutes seven in the first quarter. Uh, Harlan South struck first. Beautiful pass into the end zone. And Vela kind of did it the other way. They just marched it downfield. A lot of running in that. One good pass downfield to get him a crucial first down. Other than that, they've just been pushing. They've been using the run a lot. They're using their offensive linemen to Try to push uh, Harlingen South defense yeah. alignment, you know, to get some of those extra yards. But so far, it's been a great game, and, and we're 7-7 right now. Well, you know, I, I called it from the beginning. I said, we were talking before the game, Joe, and I said, you know, we just don't see anybody necessarily running away with this game. I, I think both of these teams have some similar strengths, uh, and I think it's going to be a good one to the very end. So stay tuned for those Number of you all listening right now on valleycentral.com. Thank you for tuning in. Just another reminder that one hour after the final second is played here at Bogus Stadium, you can go back and watch the video replay along with the audio that you are hearing right now. So a big shout-out to KHGN team, the camera crew working up here in the booth uh, bringing us a wonderful picture that you'll get to enjoy uh, about an hour after the game is over here we go Bella's gonna kick off and it's a squib kick they're gonna keep it real low it may go out of bounds and it does so that'll be a penalty out of bounds around the five. that'll be a penalty and South will get some decent uh, field position here um, they're just trying a little squib kick you know they, they, they try to control who's gonna try to get that ball they want to see if it bounces off of somebody um, but Harlan South will get a good break there. I was surprised that they did a script kick, kick this. Out of bounds but the they were able to get team. it out of bounds, and South Bobby is going to start off at the 30-yard line. line. Great possession. Let's see First what they down. can do now. 
And that's a white cap Ford Sasser down there on the field. Uh, he's got the call tonight on the field. Uh, veteran official and a veteran officiating crew here at Bogus Stadium tonight, bringing a really good, clean game so far. Not a whole lot of penalties in that, those first couple drives. No. Just the kind of football you like to see. So here we go. Jimmy Morton under center this time has two running backs. They switch up this look with a shotgun spread, and he'll hand it off to his running Steven back. Rodriguez He's got his little space the right up the middle up there. Uh, that's number four, Steven Rodriguez. Well, he was able to burst out really quick, maybe to get a couple of yards. He ended up getting five on in there with a little bit of contact Second at the beginning. So great run by Steven Rodriguez. Looking very sharp. Look at that. And we got number 34. That's Shineman in there. He's playing fullback and gets a good little block there. And it looked like a defensive tackle. And uh, gives Rodriguez just that little seam that he needed to get up. He almost got that six yards, but they're going to call it second down and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. Now they go back to that spread offense. Four receivers. Got a blitzing linebacker on the outside. He's going to connect with his receiver. Makes a great move to the 50, the 45, the 35, the 20. And he's going to be drugged down about the 18-yard line. What a catch and run there. Harlingen South. That's going to be number 25, Alec Garza. It all started with a good throw. With able to get a good catch by Alec Garza. It was able to burst and get a lot of, a lot of yards. As you can see, he's broke a few tackles. Great position and then gave South uh, a great position at the 20-yard line. Good job by the offensive line once again to give uh, Jimmy Morton some protection there, Aaron. Definitely. And I tell you what, if it wasn't for number 24, Ruben Garcia for Vela, he would have scored that touchdown. So Ruben potentially uh, saving some points here for his he defense. Sure did. Caught him down from behind. He and now the guy's going behind. him fast. He was coming at him fast. All right, here we go. First down, down at the 20-yard line. Three and a half minutes left to go. Timeout. Uh, will be Harlan called now. South. Harlan and South, they're going to burn their second timeout, time Joe. That second timeout in the wow. first quarter. You know, usually need those towards the end of the yeah. second yeah. half, of the first half, but hey, I guess they, weren't, uh, they didn't have the proper uh, people personnel on the line there. But uh, so far, Aaron, it's been an exciting game. You know, here in Harlingen, I mean, we got some off. It looks like we're going to have an offensive uh, 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 shootout maybe here. And it's just kind of a steady offense. You know, we have a couple of big plays that get the crowd excited. But other than that, they're just kind of, you know, playing some, some good football, just taking up time, taking up uh, field and, uh, and running that ball. So I'm impressed with both offenses. Uh, is I think it's going to be a, a game of attrition here. Which defensive line, which, uh, which linebacking crew, right, uh, can last the longest? I totally agree with that. Because it looks like right now the offenses are are, are, are coming up with and, and executing the plays properly. Defenses both sides going to have to make a stand sooner or later. Yep. That might make the determined factor of tonight's game here. And always keep an eye out for those turnovers, Joe. Turnovers can make a huge difference in this game. Especially when you have two offenses that are clicking the way they're going. One turnover can change the whole complexity of the game. Uh, and so we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. The elements are great. No rain on the field. No wet. No wetness. Uh, nothing. We thought earlier in the week we are going to have some problems. But it's a beautiful night for football, uh, folks, here at Bogus Stadium in Harlingen, Texas. First and 10 on the 20. Morton goes under center now. Two running backs again. They usually run the ball to this. And he's heading off to there to the fullback. Uh, fullback that's going to be number 21, Javier Olvera. Uh, taking right up the middle. I think he, got, he took the uh, uh, Vela squad a little bit off camp. Probably thinking yeah. it was going to be uh, the running back. But it was a great call, great play. He ended up getting about seven yards on this play. Was able, the offensive line was able to give a good push here. Yeah, you know, that Brings fullback has been used pretty much to three. block. And so that time they just handed off quick to that uh, fullback, and he, he surprised them. He did. Uh, right he up did. the middle, seven yards. So second down, three to go. Ball on the 13-yard line of Vela. So Harlan and South is knocking at the door again. Single tailback this time. That's number four, Rodriguez in the backfield. He'll get the ball. Steven Rodriguez makes one cut. On the flag on the field. And, uh, he's going to get stopped short of the first down marker, but uh, we're going to have to wait on that, that yellow flag, see what, what that's all about. Yeah, we're going to have to see if that's going to be against South or it's going to be against Vela here. But great running here. She was able to get about three and a half yards in. Really good run. I mean, it would have been close to a measurement, Outside. Joe, because defense, uh, it was really close. It's going to go on the defense here, so that will be a first down for Harlan and South. First down. Because they were about, what, four to go, and yes. now they get the five-yard penalty. First down for Harlan, and it looks like they're going to be right at about the nine-yard line. So it'll be a first and goal. Hawks first and goal. Ball is at the Sabercat eight-yard line. They're going to mark it down to the eight. Eight-yard line, yes. They've been having some success running the ball, running out of that tailback position. 
Both squads are really having a good time running the ball. It's up to the defense to step up and see if they can shut it down here. See who's going to last the longest on that defensive line. Here we go. Morton under center. He'll toss it this time. Rodriguez, Rodriguez he gets a toss, but he's brought down quick. He's going to lose about, what, two yards on that? Three yards maybe, Joe? Yeah, I think he's going to lose a yard or so. Yard or so. The, the, the actually a really good penetration on the defensive line of, of the Sabercats. They were able to get some, some penetration and able to uh, keep them down for a minimal or a loss. Second and it and looks goal. like it's going to be a, a, a well, about what, maybe Ball a yard, a yard gain. Yard. Yeah, a, a little bit tricky up here, but number 56, I'll tell you what, for Vela, uh, got in there. That's James Mackey, defensive tackle. He's a junior. Uh, great job of wrapping up Rodriguez. All yes, right, here he we go. Three running backs now in the backfield. Morton's going to hand off again to Rodriguez. Steven makes one Rodriguez. cut, and he's Next in. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, touchdown, touchdown. Hollingen South Hawks. Going to take him up 13 to 7. One minute, 40 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Great job on the offensive line. To, 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 there was a huge hole. I, I, don't, I think he went untouched, Aaron. I really don't think he even got touched. There was a great execution, great run by Rodriguez. It, it, it was a great play, great call. Wonderful Bobby play, Mirko's wonderful call. Just kind of, you know, old school type of football. Nothing flashy there. You know, they ran three running backs there in, in the backfield, handed off to the tailback, on the made hold, one quick three, move, and Abrams he was in almost it. untouched. I totally agree with that. It's really just basic one-on-one -on -one yep. football here. Here we go on into the 10th extra point for the Hunters and South Hawks. The snap is good. The kick is up. Waiting for it. That and it's going to be good. Harlan and South goes 14, up 14 to 7. And the kicker there is number 19, Fabi Miltos. Position you want to be in when there's a minor emergency. Great That's job kicking there for Harlan and South. So 14 to 7. We're right at a minute and 40 seconds left to go in the first quarter. It's been an exciting first quarter. New defenses have had an, uh, an answer yet for those offenses. They haven't. Well, we're going to find out the second time that South is going to be on defense. But this quarter has been going pretty fast there. And I mean, it's just they're running. They're pounding the ball, uh, you know, nonstop the clock. It's been a really, really Get impressive uh, run game on both sides. You see the Sabercats can answer the call now. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, you mentioned it's been a fast first quarter. When you have a lot of running of the ball, it chews up that clock. When you have more passing, when you have incomplete passes, it just slows that clock down. So, you know, we're moving pretty quick here in the first quarter. Uh, and both teams being able to move the ball well. Let's see if we can get another good return here from Edinburgh uh, Vela. Uh, back to return. They're going to try to see if they can break that that midfield mark again. I think we still have um, Robert Guetta back there. Mm -hmm. Couldn't see the other number, but he's our starting running back. And it's a big and hit by Fabi like Mildos, and it will be Guetta. It will be Guetta. At the nine-yard line, he's out to the 15 now. Robert Guerra. Looks very similar to the last run. 30, 35, 40, 45. He's back Pass across. Midfield. Midfield, right at midfield, he goes down. I mean, he had a chance to cut it up. I thought he was going to go, Joe. <laughs> I did too, Aaron. I mean, he, he there was a lot of uh, north Making and south, east and west kind of running. But I tell seven. you, it was fun to watch. Uh, you know, he just he ran right, he ran left, he ran up, he ran down. And, and, and he, all around, he did a really good play. Got him down to their uh, their own 49-yard line, almost at midfield. But great run. The kid's exciting to watch. He is. I mean, he's got a probably about 80 yards now of return <laughs> yards <laughs> yeah. off that kickoff. I mean, and just you need to go back and watch this replay, folks, here at about a minute and a half left in the first quarter. His vision is so good. He's able to find lanes, get through them. Great job running by Guetta, number 25. He may get a breather, may not. We'll see. But here we go. Sabercats go to work at their own 49-yard line. Dropping back, looking downfield, wants to connect with the receiver. Wise, oh, wide open. No, oh, just overthrown to number 20. Michael Arguyes barely overthrew him, Joe. He barely. I mean, you're talking about finger catch right there. I mean, he had great, uh, he was right in the pocket, great protection. Lopez did. He, he, he just misfired just by a little bit. It looks like we have a penalty on there, Aaron, if I'm not mistaken. No? We don't have a flag. No flag on that one. About the 30, no. Oh, there's just something yellow on the field there. That happens from time to time. Here we go. Second down, 10 to go. On that near miss, Joe, I mean, wow. If it was just about a half foot shorter, that would have been to the house. What a connection that would have been. Here we go. Four wide receivers looking downfield again. Quick little hitch route there. Number 20 catches it. Arguyas now yes, catches it this one, and he's going to be real close to the first time marker. Should have it. Really, Arguyas really had a really good stop, uh, catch there. Was able to get the first down. Once Saber again, you got to give some credit to the down. offensive line the of the Sabre Cats 39. because they they gave uh, Lopez a lot, a lot of time. He was able to choose and who he wanted to throw to, and that's a, that's a real good uh, indication on their offensive line there. Just what a touch that Lopez has on that pass. He's able to float it right over that defender. Here we go. He's going to hand it off to his running back. I believe that's going to be 
Number 23, and he's going to break a tackle. 30 the to the 20. Going down to the 10-yard line goes number 23, the Anthony Arredondo, who had the last touchdown, Joe. Big run. Big, big run. He was able to find his team, was able to do a couple of uh, nice nice jukes here and there. But once again, that offensive line did open up some holes. But great running on his part, and they're setting up again right now. And they go quick, y'all. This is a quick snap. Lopez again shotgun. He's going to snap it now. Again to Arredondo. Goes right. Arredondo looks for a seam. And he'll go down about a gain of two yards. Two Arredondo. Ten. This time they were able to penetrate. They were able to stop him quick. But this this guy has a lot of highlight On film. Stop, he's quick. 70, he's aggressive. I, I'm looking forward to this 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 run. This whole series here has been really exciting here for the Sabercats. I tell you, you get got Guerra in there. You get Arredondo in there. They're almost interchangeable. Second run very eight. similar styles. Good one-two punch that yep. they have there. Here we go. Lobo's going to go take that so shotgun formation. Second and eight. 24 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Going to get probably one more snap off before their quarter is over. Hands it off to the running back. And that's Guerra. And he's going to be in for the touchdown. One quick move to the right. And he was in. You know, we were just talking about the one-two punch. Aaron. He comes back. I guess he was taking a breather from the long run that yep. he did in the kickoff. A great hole that he opened it up there. Right up the middle. Was able to get in there. What a great, what a great run here by Guerra. A little, Excellent. You know, a little X, X block there. So basically the guard kind of stepped back and just kicked out the defensive end. And he ran right behind uh, the tail of that guard. Just excellent walk-in type touchdown. One-two punch, like you said, Joe. And they're going to match the score with the extra point is good. And that is going to be 14 of 14 with the extra point by number six, Rafael Perez. 15 seconds left to go in the first quarter, and we're all tied up, Joe. You know, Aaron, I think we guessed that you said we're on the money. I think this is going to be one of them shootouts. Uh, unless the defense will start showing up here, but both offenses are explosive. They've got a lot of uh, weapons, great passers, great runners on both sides. This is going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be fun. This is a fun football game to watch, so listen to hopefully or you all that are listening live right now because this is a lot of action going on. The ball is moving across the field. But the thing that happens in a game like this, especially with very strong running as both sides are showing, is that those defenses tend to get worn down. And so we're going to see who is better conditioned here going into the second half especially. And I think it's going to be all up to who gets tired first. <laughs> I totally agree with that because right now both defenses are probably huffing and puffing right now. But it looks like, like you said, it's going to come down to the fourth quarter. It's going to come down to who wants it the most. Well, what a great game here. What a beautiful night for football here in South Texas, down in Harlingen. For those of y'all listening from uh, across the state, across the United States, perhaps across the world, uh, hoping to bring you just a little bit here from the Valley in South Texas. Get back soon. Here we go. Kickoff. Ball is kicked well. It's going to go deep into the end zone. Going to be a touchback there. Excellent kick there. Uh, not even a chance to return that one. No, he hit it pretty good. He had a good, uh, he put uh, Rafael, uh, Rafael Perez was able to get a good leg under it and made, able to get it down. Nobody was unreturnable. And that's probably a good thing because kickoffs have been going uh, back. <laughs> Those returns have been, been returned well tonight. <laughs> I tell you, it's been fun watching the kids. Even the special teams are getting yep. involved in this, Aaron. It's, it's been a great game. It's it's. Fun to watch. I'm, I'm glad right here we're watching this Friday night here in Harlingen, Texas. Uh, we're, we've got some wonderful seats here to some great football tonight. And uh, two, two of our Valley schools, you know, Harlingen South, of course, uh, playoff team from last year. Vela is a newer school, so they're just trying to establish some history, some tradition. Uh, and they're doing a good job this season so far. Here we go. Jimmy Morton, three wide receivers, shotgun formation. First and ten. He's looking right. This will be the last play of the first quarter. And Morton number two catches that for Harlingen two, South. Jason it's going to be Jason Martinez. Martinez. And uh, clock is ticking down. That will be the last play of the first quarter. That was a good little curl route for Jason Martinez. Quick, uh, Morton got there really and quick and easy. And uh, comes into tied. the end with a 14. good seven or eight y uh, yards gain. And that's the end of the first quarter. That's it. Just like that, it's gone. Wow, it zapped. <laughs> first quarter of the season opening here at Bogus Stadium is uh, in the books here. It's 14 to 14, tie ball game. For those of you all listening live, you know we've got a good one. It's a live wire type game. Both offenses are clicking on all cylinders, surprisingly this early in the season. And so that means they had a good off season. That means they had some good two a days early on uh, in, in, in August. Uh, and that means that their, their coaches have done a good job preparing them. I totally agree, Aaron. I mean, it's just fun to watch. They're both on a high, high 
uh, speed and, and their offenses. The defenses right now need to start catching up, start playing a little bit better. But right now we got two high octane offenses that are really going at it right now. Fun to watch. This is one. Of, this is what you want to see sometimes. It definitely is. Just a, a, a quick thank you to our head coaches, Michael Salinas on Edinburgh uh, Vela side, and, of course, Coach Lanny Wilson on the Orange and South side doing an excellent job of preparing these teams to be here uh, tonight. Here we go. Second down, two to go at the start of the second quarter. Harlan and South with the ball, and we're going to have a flag to flag start it off. To be false start, it yep. looks like. All right on that line false right start. there. Number 53 on the offense. Five-yard penalty. One of the interior Here's offensive line there, false start. So it'll be a second down. It'll be a seven now. They're going to tack five yards onto that one. And so a little hesitant. You know, we had such a, a, a rush of a first quarter, and now they're going to be hesitant to start the second one. Uh, but we're going to get it started here just in a second. Sometimes the second, second quarter can just be totally different from can. what we just said. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. You are definitely right. Every single quarter, every series can be different. And so here we go. Morton's going to be shotgun formation. He's got two receivers to his right, two running backs with him. Kind of a little pistol formation here. He's looking right. He's trying to find someone downfield. Just gets rid of that football. Got to make sure he's going to be outside of that pocket. He is, and he gets the ball past the line of scrimmage. So no harm, no foul there. He gets rid of the ball. He's going to bring up a third down. Yeah, he had great protection, but the receivers, he didn't find yep. anybody open. So he just decided to do the smart thing. Aaron and just threw it out and lived to play. Another down. That's exactly right. Kind of came out there with two running backs, you know, it's kind of showing that they want to run the ball. Uh, and then, so they're really going to have two wide receivers trying to go downfield to make something happen. And uh, Vela just did a really, really good job of covering that play. Third down, seven to go. Ball is on Harlan and South 28. So if they cannot convert, Vela would get some really good field position. I do. All good. right, Jimmy Morton here, shotgun formation now. He's got it spread wide out across the field. He's running left now, wants to find somebody downfield. He has a receiver on the sideline, but the ball is going to sail right out of bounds there. No chance yeah, to get that. Bring up a place. first fourth down of the game for us, down. Joe. This, yeah, he tried to hit uh, Adelaide Garza there, but it looked like he ran him a little bit out of bounds here. But, yes, you're right, Aaron. Eight, uh, now we get to mention the, uh, the putter. That's right. <laughs> this is, we have not seen him here in the first quarter or any time here on both sides. So this is the first punt of the game. When I mentioned Wesley Champion's name earlier, I know that he kicks, and so he is actually the punter for Ireland and South, and so he goes on the field now. Back to receive the punt, number one. And back to receive for Edna McVell is going to be number one. The number one, Eliza Reina. He's going to shut in. They, it looks like they're going to be having good position. That'll have be their final timeout, Joe. Third Three timeouts for Ireland and South. And we still have the majority of 11.45 still left to play in the second quarter. Well, there was 10 guys on the field for Harlan and South. The 11th was Jimmy Morton, and he comes running on late. And so they called a timeout to kind of reorganize here, uh, try to figure out what's going on. Now, you're asking me as a guy up in the booth, why is Jimmy Morton on punt? Because you never know what could happen, right? That is so true. But, I mean, uh, let's see if this comes back and maybe punts uh, south because – Timeouts have a really important towards the end of the, of the quarter, the end of the half, or the end of the fourth quarter. But these are, of course, only for the first half. But let's see what happens. Uh, you know, this, this kind of game right now, these timeouts may or may not mean anything. Needs. Yeah, but you know what? Three timeouts burned, we're just starting the second quarter. Three timeouts burned, we're just starting the second quarter. Especially in a game like this one, it's a lot of running. Three timeouts burned, we're just starting the second quarter. Especially in a game like this one, it's a lot of running. You don't get a lot of clock stoppage. So, you know, sometimes you need to use those timeouts to break break a momentum or a little breath. Yeah, exactly. So Harlan and South, they have exhausted their three timeouts for the first half. Uh, and Edward McVella still has all three. Now, I just want to make a note that for Edward McVella, they have the returner back there. It's going to be Elijah Reina. He's standing on his own 40-yard line here. And so if he catches on the 40, gets a little return, they're going to have some excellent field position. They're going to start the ball. I mean, they're going to get the ball pretty much in an excellent field position. Let's see how it goes. Champions back. He's going to uh, receive this snap here. It's a decent snap. Oh, and it's blocked. Blocked by number two of Edmund Vela. And he recovers it. Blocks and recovers number two. That's going to be Ryan Rodriguez for Edinburgh Vela, and he's going to give them the ball at the eight or nine he yard line, Joe. Well, you statement. just said that they were going to get good field position, Aaron. Wow. I didn't think they were going to get that great of a field Same position. <laughs> That's a momentous swing right here. Uh, Vela is going to get the ball right around First the 15 yard line, it looks hot. like. Wow, 14. what a, what a great block. Uh, it, this, this this game is just it's it's just going really good. 
Uh, the Sabercats are going to really get the ball here with really good field position, Aaron. Wow, I'm just so impressed there. The uh, Number two, it looked to be number two. Uh, that's Ryan Rodriguez. He just came right up the middle. He had the block, and it looks like when he extended for the block, the ball somehow got caught in his bread basket, right? And he just kind of <laughs> enveloped that football and ended up with, a, with a, the recovery on that. So what an impressive play there for Edwin McGavella. First down here, they're going to put him on the 14-yard line. Sends a receiver in motion. Running back gets it to the outside. Arredondo, on the Arredondo carry, down to the 10-yard right yard line. Going to gain about four, maybe five. Good running around the right Making side. He's got a little eight, seam, but South End are closing it pretty fast. But still gaining a good four or five yards on there. And, uh, they're moving the ball pretty well here on the running game. And on both sides, actually. Well, here on the instant replay, we'll see Arredondo, and he's looking right, and he's going to get that ball. He's got a good lead blocker out here. That's going to be number 44. Give him uh, that's gonna, yeah, definitely Steven De Luna. Uh, great downfield block in there for his running back. Here we go. Four wide receivers, three left, one right. That's for number 12. That's Eber Lopez having a good night there in the captain's seat for the Vela offense. Here we go. He's looking to pass this one. Slant route, connects with his receiver. And that should be a first down, Joe. He might have gotten in. No, it looks like he was going to be about your try. Close, close. Great pass. I mean, he had all the time in the world, was able to get a receiver. It was really tough to get down there, Aaron. It was actually tough to get uh, brought down, but it looks like they're coming at him again here. They're going with the snap really quickly. I'm going to just say Arredondo is in the backfield, and he will get the ball right up the middle. Touchdown, Sabercats. Arredondo right up the middle. Handoff from Lopez. Touchdown, going to make that 20-14. We talked about a one-two punch between Arredondo and Guerra, and they both have been playing extremely well. South is going to have to come up with an answer to that because they're running the ball very well. And with the block now, that now means the momentum is going to be switched. It's going to be point. changed here. Huge block there. I'm going to call it an offensive lineman. That's number 70, Luis Vela. Great Huge block. blocker. All right, the kick is up, and it is good. So that'll make it 21-14. Edwin McVella Sabercats go up on the Harlem and South Hawks. 10 minutes and 35 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Huge turn of events, Joe. That punt meant a lot for Vela. It changed the block whole game punt. around. It, it, the punt block, you're yeah. absolutely right. It changed the game. It gave the momentum to the Sabercats. We're able to punch it in about four or five downs. We're able to get in. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it gave them excellent field position. I started at the 15. When you start at the 15, it's really tough for a defense to, to do anything about that. I mean, you would hope maybe get three out of it, but they were able to get the whole seven there. Definitely. What a good job there by Vela. Capitalize. It's one thing to get a turnover. It's not going to capitalize on those turnovers. you got to get the turnover. you got to make something happen. And Vela makes something happen on that one. So Harlan and South, they've got to get back in this game here. Uh, of course, they, they went the fir they're the first team to go to fourth down. Went to punt. Punt was blocked. Vela uh, recovers the punt. Uh, and then they're able to punch it in for a, a rather easy touchdown um, here. And so Harlan and South needs to respond here on this, on this uh, series. They, they sure do, Aaron. I think they're going to have to respond because Darren the intensity Pettis. of this game is really high right now, and both both squads are doing really extremely well on their offenses. Here we go. Back deep to return for Harlan in the south. You know, those green jerseys kind of just blend into that field, don't they? <laughs> they sure do. All right, here we go. The kick is up. It's a good kick. We're going to go out there to the outside corner. Received at the 5. He's up to the Darren 20. Pettis on the kickoff. To the 25. The 20. That was number 11. Number 11 for Harlan South. 20, Darren Michael Pettis. Michael we called Michael his name a couple times already. We have called his name, and he's been doing it. He gave him a pretty decent field position, Aaron. I think, you know, they need to start here and see what is going to happen. See if they can answer back to the Sabercats uh, touchdown. Hawks first and 10 at their 20. What a run there. Good job of trying to get upfield. Hey, I got a quick uh, just report in here from San Antonio. For those of you all interested in the Harlingen High uh, versus San Antonio Reagan game, uh, we've got Reagan up 21 to 0 over the Harlingen Cardinals. Wow. Hero Stadium in San Antonio. 21 0. All right, here we go. Jimmy Morton here, shotgun formation. Two receivers to the right. He's going to look right. He pump fakes once, connects with his Morton receiver. Receiver is going to get close to that first down marker. Not quite there, but about five defenders on the tackle. He had a great job, but he had good protection. He was able to get about seven, eight yards maybe. To on the reception, number six, Manny Menchaca. And that was number six, Manny Menchaca. Uh, up great play by uh, Morton and laser it in there. Yeah, Morton's kind of calling to the sidelines, like, give me the play, give me the play. He wants to get it quick. He wants to get this offense moving here. 
I, I think you're absolutely right. He doesn't want to stay still. Nope. I think they want to keep him going. And that's something Vela's done very well tonight. They get to the ball quick. They get the snap off. And uh, that kind of catches Harlan South off guard a little bit. Here we go. Morton going to try to do the same thing under center. Hands it up to his fullback again. Fullback's going to get the first down. Looks like from here, uh, just a, a run right up the gut there by the fullback. He got good good penetration right around the right hand, uh, right side. Was able to get a couple of yards, but that's all they needed, Aaron, just to get that Hawks first down and get a first first set of downs. Ball is at the keep it going. Keep 35. it moving. Jimmy Morton wants to keep that going. You know, I'm looking down on the field. I'm looking at Jimmy Morton, number seven, and he's just a, a really good-looking athlete down there, right? He's a tall kid. Uh, he's, he kind of looks over that offensive line there. He looks very impressive down there, calm and collected. Very impressive for a guy who's been out of football for a year. A broken leg. Uh, on the field last year, uh, and he's back and looking really, really good. Here we go. First down, 10 on their own 36-yard line. Does the Harlingen South uh, offense goes to work here. He's going to hand it off to his running back, and that's number four. Spins Steven out Rodriguez trying to get uh, away from the, the tackle that's Steven Rodriguez. He was pretty close here and getting down, away from that 14, one and busting it pretty John big there. Carino. But he was still able to get about a good three or four yards, able to keep those uh, Sabre Cats up in there. But it, it was a great run. Good block there by the fullback. I think that was number 34, uh, Jared Sheneman, uh, kicking out that defensive end there, giving a little lane just for uh, Rodriguez to get up and uh, get a few yards. So it'll bring up a second down, seven to go. We're right at eight minutes and 38 seconds left to go in the first half. It's 21-14. 21-14, Edinburgh Vela leads. Eight minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Jimmy Morton, shotgun formation once again. Three wide receivers, second and seven. He looks right, rolls right. Wants his receiver on the outside, and it is a bobbled pass incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Brings up a A good throw. Game. It was just he just, uh, Jason Martinez could not just bring it down there for the first down. If he would have caught it, I think he would have been able to get that first down and keep those downs going. But it's still third down. Let's see what they do next. Well, you know, the, the South Hawks have kind of gone away a little bit from uh, their running game, right? They've kind of gone more to the air, more to the pass. And uh, so it's slowing down this second quarter a little bit. Um, and see uh, if they continue going there, they're going to go. Back to the run that was really working for him well that first couple series. It was. And, and, and you're absolutely right. They're not doing a little air attack maybe because they're down. Right, right. Jimmy Morton, third down, seven. Big one here. They were stopped here last series around this area of the field. He's looking left. He wants his receiver there. Number two, just a real quick Morton little pass. out pattern there for number, number two, two, Jason, Jason Martinez, Martinez. But he's not going to get the first down, Joe. No, he's not. It was, it was a great pass, stop, but he was not 14, able to get the, the total Trevino. yards he needed to do now. You see South, they're going to be calling fourth and short now. And we'll bring uh, up a fourth and two. Fourth and short. I'm looking. I'm not seeing the punt unit go on the field, Joe. I think they might go for it, Aaron. I think they might go for it. Morton goes out. Looks like they're going to go for it. They're going to call a play here. Uh, they are on the 44-yard line, their own 44. It's about a fourth and two. Seven minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the first half. And they're going for it, folks. Three running backs in the backfield. Morton under center. Hands it off to number four. And he's stopped. He will not Steven make it on the short. Carry. Still on his feet. And they're going to call him dead right at the line of scrimmage, Joe. Nowhere to go. It'll be a turnover on downs for Harlan himself. He went and he hit a brick wall with the Sabercats defense. I Ball mean, he goes over gain, to the uh, a yard. And now, uh, questionable car here, but, you know, we, you know, I guess they were trying to get the momentum back or something. But right. now you give the Sabercats a great field position. And, though, you know, they've been doing it. You know, a good number on the on, on the South defense right now. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I agree with you on that. You know, uh, the call uh, maybe a little bit different than what most people would have called. They may have seen something that nobody else saw. Trying to get that momentum. I think you're absolutely right. Try to go get some momentum back. And you're absolutely right that Vela has not been able to be stopped now. And now they only have 44 yards to work with. So here we go. Lopez in that shotgun formation sends the receiver number one in motion. He's going to pitch it to him. It's a reverse to number 20. Arguez. Cuts it back to the inside, but there's a flag Number on the 20, field, Michael so more likely this is coming back. It we looks like it's going to be a holding. Yeah. Uh, there could have been a couple of penalties here, but... Uh, have it, an illegal shift on the offense. Illegal shift. Two players in motion at the same Got it. time. Five yards Two from players the in motion spot. at the same time. Replay, first down. They're going to replay that first down. And, folks, I have been corrected. It is Arguez. Michael Arguez uh, doing a good job there. They had tried to get him on a little uh, reverse here. They pitch it to number one. Uh, that's Reina. And then he pitches it back to Arguez. Um, but, of course, all that was uh, really for naught because that yellow flag uh, kind of called that play dead. Here we go. First down and about 15 to go now. Ball is still on the Harlington South side of the field on the 49. Four wide receivers. And he's going to pass on this one. He's going to kick it out to his running back, number 25. 
And they're going to try to no, – it was not a backwards pass. pass. If it was a backwards pass, that would have been a fumble. Brings up no. a no, he just couldn't get it on there. It looked like he had a little bit of room in front yep. of him there, Aaron, but he couldn't get the, that uh, ball down. So now he's going to go back to second and 15 Brings up a here. second and 15. You know, and again, you know, we talked about Harlan South kind of abandoning the run. Well, Vela's come out with two very different plays. It's not what they had been running earlier. They went with a reverse and then a pass. So they're stuck here with a second and 15. Or maybe just perhaps those defenses are trying to tighten up a little bit. Could be. Tight end in motion. Number 44. Snap. Get oh, and he carry. stopped in the backyard, in the backfield there in his own backyard. That's going to be Robert uh, Guerra. Uh, nowhere to go, Joe. Vera. No, it, uh, it was Javier Olvera who made a great play, I believe. And he just and was able to bust through the, the line and then getting him for about a four or five yard loss, if I'm not mistaken. Now putting the Sabercats a little further back, probably third and 20, 21, maybe. Well, that Harlan South defense is now getting a little bit of that momentum back. You know, Olvera there with a huge tackle in the backfield. Now they give him a third down, 19 to go. They are now on the Vela side of the football field. And uh, now Lopez is going to have to go to the shotgun formation. He's got four spread, one in motion, three wide receivers now. And he's looking downfield. He wants something big, looking for number seven. He throws it, connects on number seven. That's Eddie Luna. Down to the 20-yard line. What a huge pass. That's going to go for about 35 yards. Seven, Eddie Luna, number seven. Big play for Vela. Very big play there, Aaron. I mean, you're, you're uh, third and 19, and, and you're able to connect for a first down and then some. An incredible Catch, uh, first incredible play by Lopez and Vela here to get it on going here. There was nobody in the center of that field, Joe. Wide open. Found a little pocket there. And I saw that uh, Lopez had uh, his eyes on, on his number seven from the very beginning and sure enough connected. Here we go. He's going to hand it off to his running back. No, he doesn't. Fakes it. Throws to the corner of the end zone. Nobody's there. Pass is incomplete. Second Incomplete down. pass. Bring it up. Second down. Looks like the receiver and, and, and Lopez, number 11, uh, weren't on the, the same pace here because he, th he threw 18. kind of towards the end zone. And uh, number 11 looks like he came a little short there. But, uh, you know, so now we got a second down. Second down, 10 to go. They're on the 18-yard line. So they uh, had a huge pass play there. Uh, that was a play before this last one. We're right under six minutes, folks. Uh, listening in, 21-14. Vela is on top, leading the Harlan South Hawks. Here we go. Snap. Handoff. Stopped in the backfield. Nowhere to go. This time for the running game of Vela, number 25, is stopped. This time the defense was able to get a good Making push there, Aaron, and we're able to stop uh, the, the, the running back here for the Sabercats. But uh, you got to give a great uh, a job there for the South defense. This football season with a first, time, first out. time out there, Joe, for Edinburgh Villa. Hey, I just want to take this moment here, and I want to just thank again uh, the KGN team here today, including Shane Strubard, and uh, thanks to Maritza Gallaga, Adriano Dominguez, Roland Ansaldúa, Iris Montemayor, Joe Medrano, Sam Vargas, Javier Araiza, Pat Guajardo, and the KGN co-ops, and uh, doing a wonderful job. These uh, students here that are running the cameras on the field are part of the Media Tech program at Harlingen High School South under the direction of Pat Guajardo. Uh, so what an excellent job that they're doing. Great opportunity for these students to learn some valuable skills that they can use in the job market today. Hey, we want to invite you to visid the district's website at hc hcisd.org. Check the schedule for replays of tonight's game, and KHN will be airing all home games. So for those of you all listening on valleycentral.com right now, uh, welcome to our broadcast here at Bogus Field. Aaron Sines here with Joe Martinez. Five minutes, 29 seconds left to go in the first half. Joe, 21-14, Vela's on top. We've got a great game here going on, Aaron, and it's... Uh, offensive shootout right now. Uh, the Sabercats got the, uh, they're in the, the red zone, so to speak. Here, uh, it's been a great game. A lot of running, a lot of uh, some passing going on here too. Uh, not uh, both teams' defenses haven't really showed up so much yet. But let's see, let's see if that changes here. If they, if South can do a th uh, the third down stop. Yeah, big stop coming up here. Big crucial play here. I would have to imagine if they don't get the first down, they're going to either kick a field goal or go for it. Uh, they've just got some good momentum behind them. But either way, they go to work. Third down, 10 to go. Ball on the Harlingen South 18-yard line. He's looking left. He's going to find his, his running back out in the flat there, wide open. It's a forward pass. That'll be incomplete. Uh, just could not connect there uh, with his running back. That's number 23, I believe, Arredondo. He had a little bit of room in front of him, but I guess he was looking ahead of and ended up dropping the ball. But uh, great pass. Uh, just couldn't connect to uh, Arredondo there. Uh, good good uh, stand there for the, the South defense. Let's see what they're going to do here. Now it's fourth down. 
It's fourth down. I don't see a kicker coming onto the field, Joe. And so you, this is kind of where you see what where your confidence level is in your kicker. This would have been if they went for the field goal. Uh, I believe about a 37 yard. So that's kind of far out there. You know, it's not too bad. But they're going to go for it, y'all. Fourth down, ten to go uh, on the 18 yard line of the Hawks. So here we go, Lopez, and we're going to have a flag on the play. I believe it's going to go against Vela. Yep. Illegal snap. Illegal snap again on Vela. So that'll be a fourth and 15. You know, now you're going to push back a little bit further. Do you bring the kicker on now, or do you just keep on going for it now, Aaron? It's going to be a good uh, coaching strategy here for the Sabercats. Well, it looked like they had the kicking team ready, but no, they're not going to pull the trigger on the kicking team. Uh, instead, they bring Eddie Luna, wide receiver, onto the field. They have Aguayas uh, out split wide as well. So now they got a fourth, fourth and 15. Remember, they had a long third down that they, uh, made, that they converted. Here we go. Downfield, he's flush from the pocket. He's going to have to run this one. Hands on him. He breaks two tackles down to the 10-yard line. About the 11, he'll be stopped short. Is going to be turnover downs. Harlan Shots going to get the ball back. Turnover downs, very good play, very scary play. I mean, it looks like he might have gotten the, the, the first down, but South even came out pretty strong and ended up stopping him about a yard shy of the first down. And like you said, Aaron, it was a turnover on downs. A good stop for South. See if they can maybe turn things around here. Ochoa Lopez was converted to a running back right there in an instant. He looked good running the football, and he came really close to that first down marker. But Harlan South gets the momentum back here for the moment. Now they're down seven points, five minutes, 15 seconds left to go in the first half. Uh, they have no timeouts left. Remember that, folks? If they put together a long drive here. They have no timeouts left. So Jimmy Morton's going to go under center this time. They're going to run with a two running back set. One right receiver. They're going to go motion left. Hand it off to the tailback. Tailback's going to try to get a few yards. Rodriguez, I believe that's going to be Rodriguez. And uh, he'll gain maybe a yard, Joe. Yeah, it was, a, it was a run by Rodriguez, but it looked like the, the Sabercats were expected to run because they, they, they were all over him uh, right away. I think maybe two yards at the most, but a good First stop there for the Sabercats. I'm going to tell you what, I got my eyes there on number 45, Steven Ramos from the Vela uh, Sabercats. He's a defensive tackle down there, junior. Uh, he's a big guy right down there in the middle, and he's causing some problems for that interior of that Harden and South offensive line. But here we go. Jay Moore's going to come back. He's got a second and eight to work with. Now we're under five minutes left to go in the first half. It is 21-14. Edinburgh Vela is on top. But a change of wins here for Harden and South as they had a huge stop. Uh, get the ball back. Here we go. Hand out to Rodriguez. He's going to get upfield. He's going to be really close to that first down marker. Depends on where the spot is. It looks like he might get it, Aaron. Yes, it is a first down. First down, Hawks. Well, good good play by the offensive line to get a good push on the, the, the Aaron, you were just talking about the defensive line of the Sabercats. He was able to get through and get those that first down that South really needed to get, get the uh, momentum going. Good job, offensive line. I think they heard me from the booth, and so they made an extra hard push on that one. They did. did a great job of, of Springer Rodriguez for a good run. First down for the Hawks. Morton here, you can see him here close up on screen, calling the play there for his offense. Doing a good job of commanding that playbook there. Under center, he's got two receivers, one left, one right, two running backs. And he's going to pitch it to his tailback, Rodriguez again. Stays within the tackles there, gaining about a one-yard Joe. He only gained a yard, but it looks like they're going back to that running game, which yes, was working in the first quarter, Aaron. And it looks like maybe they decided let's, let's uh, pound the run, get that uh, Sabercat defense a little tired. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Good strategy because they are moving the ball a little bit here. I definitely think so. I agree with you 100%, Joe. And we know that Morton can let that ball fly. So I think if, you, if you're thinking the strategy is – Pound that football, wear down that defense. Second half may open up the passing game for Harden and South. Could stretch it downfield. Here we go. Shotgun formation. This is where they will stretch it, folks, when they get in this formation right here. Jim Warren looking downfield. Little quick hitch pass, number two. In and out of the hands of number two, Jason Martinez. Incomplete pass. Yeah, he missed the ball, but it, it probably wouldn't have gained to as many yards, but, it, you know, it still could have given him another uh, a third and, you know, six or so. But it was still a great effort. Great pass by Morton. What we, we're, we're yet to see is number 25, Alec Garza. Alec Garza, early on in the first series, he got freed down, uh, uh, just a, a wide receiver streak, basically what it was. He able to get downfield, got a bunch of yards. We haven't seen him go downfield to Alec Garza again. I'm interested to see if he tries to go downfield with him. Here we go. Spread set now. Again, three wide receivers, one running back there with him in his backfield. That's going to be number four, Steven Rodriguez. Play clock winding down. It was at zero. Just got it off, and he's going to be sacked for a huge loss. 
You know, the play just never they couldn't get it off. It, 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 it didn't look like it ever got developed, Aaron, but a good penetration on the Sabercats defense, able to flush Morton around the uh, their, their right side and maybe get a sack for about maybe 12, uh, 13 yards. That was number 11 right there, Joe Gonzalez, defensive end senior uh, for Edwin McVilla. Just did a great job beating the tackle on the outside. Great job by him. Great job by Joe Gonzalez there. All right, number 10, Wesley Champion is going to go to punt this football. Now, remember last time, Edwin McVilla blocked it. You know what? He's going to receive this uh, snap here, Back folks, around the three-yard line. So really dangerous territory. They need a good snap here. Harlan and South does. And the snap is good, and he's going to get this one off. Nice-looking punt, little end over end, but it's going to go all the way down to the 42. Received by number one from Edinburgh Vela. Takes it across midfield to the 40, to the 45. He's going to be brought down at the 44-yard line. That is Elijah Reina, number one for Vela. Great return there for him. Great return there, Aaron, and he was able to run to the left-hand side, was able to get breakthrough. Good punt, though, and was able to get in really good field position. I believe he's down about the 33-yard line, giving the Sabercats a really good shot here. Good job there, good return there for the Sabercats. Now, the Sabercats were here in this position last series, and Harlan and South came up with a huge stop. And so Harlan and South really doesn't want to give up another any more points before going into the locker room. We're down at 2 minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Left in the first half, it is 21-14. Edinburgh Vela leads the Harlan and South Hawks, and Edinburgh Vela has the ball on the Harlan and South Hawk 33-yard line. First down here for Lopez. Sends his tight end in motion. He'll hand it off. Arredondo, Arredondo, no gain on the play, looks like, Joe. No, the great job by the, by the South defensive line to get that push, get that penetration, and like you said, Aaron, there was no gain. Great job on the defensive line. Little shift there by the tight end, and he's going to try to kick out that defensive line. He does, but the defensive line for Harlan and South was ready for that interior run play. Uh, lots of green jerseys right there, nowhere to go. So going to bring up a second down, 10 yard. Uh, 10 yards to go, didn't get any yardage there on that run. We're under two minutes, folks, here left in the first half at Bogus Stadium here in Harlingen, Texas. Vela up 21-14 over Harlingen South. Here goes Snap. Looking downfield. He's got a receiver streaking down the right-hand side. That's number seven. Interception. Almost intercepted. Incomplete. Uh, who was that? That was number 25 for Harlan and South, breaking it up. Alec Garza, as a matter of fact, just called his name a while ago, and he almost had that interception. Great job to stop the touchdown by Alec Garza. He was able to get in front of the receiver and able to save a touchdown pass there. It was in and out of his hands. I mean, he had that interception. But uh, a little good jostling there by number seven, <laughs> Eddie Luna. I think he just reached around there and popped that football out before he could come down with the interception. I think he did. Great job by him, too. He yeah. did. He was a wide receiver turned cornerback in that moment right there. But good job by Alec Garza saving a huge play downfield. Third down, 10 yards to go. And we're going to have another penalty on Vela. False start. False start on Vela. They've been having quite a few problems tonight on false starts, illegal snaps, uh, illegal motions for Edward McVella. So as, as well as they've been running the ball, the, it seems like they still have a few kinks to work out. And you're absolutely right because remember we talked about this in the first quarter. There was really minimal penalties. And now in the second quarter you're seeing the Sabercats run some illegal shifts, quite a bit of false starts. Let's see if they can calm down and get, the, get their plays going here. Definitely. I mean, they were rolling hard early on. Third down, 15 to go here. Right above one and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Blitz coming. Picked up. Good job there. Quarterback scrambles. Gets away. Evades a couple of attackers. Going to let it go downfield. Whose ball is this going to be? Oh, it was going to be in the hands of Harlan and South Hawk defender there. And, uh, and again, a wide receiver has to turn defender and pull that ball out. Well, basically, you know, he just threw it up for grabs to see who was going to try to get it there. But uh, it, it, so Harlingen South looked like they had the position to maybe get the interception. But it looks like now it, uh, they're going to do their punt. Well, guess who had it in his hands again? That's Alec Garza. Alec Garza again. Well, wow. we've been calling his name here a lot. We have. We have offense and defense. Offense and defense. going two ways tonight. So we're going to see something for the first time tonight, folks. The punt team from Edinburgh Villa is out on the field as we have a fourth down 15 to go. So they will be punting, and uh, no returners back for Harlingen. More than likely, this will end up in the end zone. It's an end-over-end punt. Oh, it's going to stop short of the end zone, actually. And Vela's going to stop it. They're going to down it right about the four-yard line. So Harlingen South is going to have 96 yards of field to work with. One minute, 13 seconds left to go in the first half. And guess what, Joe? No timeouts. You said it, Aaron. It's no timeouts. They used them up pretty much in the first quarter. Uh, this may, be, it may hurt or may not. Let's see what happens. But great punt. Great punt there by the Sabercats. Now, Joe, what do you think? 
You've got a minute and 13 on the clock. Do you try to get some yards, try to get downfield, or you just try to get to the locker room? I would try to get to the locker room here. You're, you're deep. You don't mm -hmm. want to make a mistake. A sure. fumble, interception, can turn a game around, and you can go down by two touchdowns really quick. That's that's a good insight right there. We'll see what uh, if they heard you up from the press box down on the field, Joe. Uh, I know Coach Lang Wilson did an excellent job there coaching these boys. He sure um, is. But they're down there on the four-yard line, their own four, and Jim Morton will go under center. Probably going to play some, some protection in that football right now. He's going to hand it to his fullback. Good choice there. Uh, fullback's going to fall forward for a gain of about two yards, maybe three. Playing it safe, Aaron, and they're just trying to get the, the, the clock to run, maybe get a couple more plays. Uh, it doesn't look like the Sabercats are going to stop it because they still have they do. Uh, two timeouts left, but it looks like they're going to go home. That's uh, surprising, though, right, Joe? I mean, technically they could get the ball back if they use if they burn their two timeouts. They, they could, uh, and, you know, it doesn't look like they're going to try. Nope. It looks like they're going to let it. I think they're going to be happy with the 21-14 lead. Definitely. And, and I, I tell you what, we talked about a lot how both offenses were unstoppable early on. Well, the defenses have showed up here in the second quarter, made some good stops. Here we go. <laughs> they have. Yeah, they really have. Morton under center again. And they're going to call penalty. And again, that's going to be on Harlan South. So they may get half the distance to the goal line here. Yep. False start. Now do you maybe call those timeouts now that you pushed you know, them back a little bit, Aaron? you got 30 seconds left because we already know that Vela can block a punt. And you go into a punting situation, in this, this situation here, you have very short ends on to work with. But it's second and 10. It looks like Vela just wants to get to the locker room as well. Um, they may, yeah, they're going to have to get one more snap off um, because the game clock's already at 14. Uh, and then the play clock's uh, about three bit seconds. Yeah, there's a little three-second differential there. One more snap here. Trying to draw him off sides. Trying to get a little bit of space there from the end zone. He'll hand it off to his tailback, Rodriguez, looks like. And he'll just be stopped for about a gain of two. That's going to finish us here in the first half, Joe. Great first half. It was been a great first half. I mean, we had a lot of uh, explosives.